Would you like to know one of the most dangerous things that purchasers are currently doing, not only in Prince Edward Island, but in sellers markets all across US and Canada? They're making offers non-conditional. In other words, a cash offer when they don't have the cash. So essentially what's happening in a seller's market, which PEI is in many markets on the continent of North America, is it's a seller's market, which means we have low supply, super high demand, which is causing auction-like activity on many of these properties. The vendors sort of hold the cards. They're saying, I want an offer that's non-conditional. Those conditions could consist of financing, insurance inspections, fuel tank inspections, septic tank inspections, home inspection, uh, condition to sell a house. In this particular case, the purchaser really has no leverage. The vendor has all the leverage because they would probably have a stack of offers if the property is priced right in a high demand area. The challenge being is purchasers are being told or they're taking it upon themselves to make cash non-conditional offers. There's nothing wrong with that providing you either have the cash or you have access to it. But what's happening is many of these do have a house to sell that does have conditions or they're mortgaging the property. So what's at risk? Well, in most markets, they're requiring 10% down. So if you're moving from PEI to say Ottawa, they put their 10% down on that property. Let's assume it's $600,000, $60,000. They're placing that deposit at risk, plus the potential getting into a potential lawsuit. Lawsuit's probably not gonna happen because the costs affiliated with it, but the deposit in many cases will be gone. So keep that in mind. Do not make a cash offer unless you either have the cash or have quick access to that cash because a lot of things can happen on the other end when you're trying to sell a house and meet those conditions or the closing dates are moving or whatever the case may be. Or in some cases, banks, particularly certain brands, will audit those mortgages so many times over that sometimes they'll pull the financing on the day or the day before closing. Now that's a nightmare. Thank you very much for watching this video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, a little bell beside it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about PEI real estate, PEI in general, or real estate in general, put them in the comments below and enjoy your day.